Welcome back to my allotment. It is the 1st of March 2013 and just having a little sit down before I do a little video. Just like to point out to anyone that up at Aldi's they are doing these for £3.50 a tub. So got a couple of those. So that's happy days but yeah got a few of them. But, uh, it's all good, it's all good here, a uh, bit of a mess in the shed, weather's miserable again, what can we say, one day we'll see the sun. Uh, just like to point out uh, one little fact that uh, has come across in the last week or so, is my little mate the Robin, I've not seen him for a few days now, and unfortunately a friend of mine who's got a plot over the back of there uh, he caught one in one of his uh, rat traps so hopefully it's not the one but if it is uh, very sad very sad so guys just watch out you know the little birdies they're only going for their food they don't know it's a danger uh, the rats bothered but just just keep an eye on it just have a little bit of fault uh, for the birdies uh, when you're setting the traps uh, maybe put just a little cover over it. I don't know. Maybe just have a think about it. That's all I'm saying. Have a little think about it. Um, I'm chipping my potatoes now. Uh, I have some charlotte. Which are all, always good. And I have some... What are they called? Aram Pilot. And uh, down here... I have some. What on earth are they? Uh, Picassos. But they're chitting away nicely. I'll say the first one, I'll say the main one. They're dormant. Uh, still haven't got the lawnmower working. Um, I tried and tried. Too much for me. Gotta get someone to look at it. Found a little light uh, in my old shed at home. So. It runs off a magnet, so I have a little bit of light in there because light is poor. Light is poor here, so pull it off. No, now we're good. Uh, other than that, so in the airboxes. But someone told me that when you're chitting potatoes, don't let them touch. Now, is that true? Don't know why, but uh, they come in a bag. So please tell me, tell me if that's right or wrong. I've been smashing the streamer a bit. That has been good fun. Uh, borrowed me mate's tiller. Is it tiller or tilfer? Your tilf? It's tilf? Tilf? Tiller. Must be a tiller. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I borrowed one of them, and as you can see, I'm flat on this one. Um, the chicken house is now done. Actually, not been in it. So, chicken house is now done. Uh, I've built a sort of like a frame up here so that I can just store all me bits and pieces of me wood so I had nowhere else to put it so I thought well the chickens want to make me something and they're bored one day crack on son I'll leave them some nails and hammer uh, other than that yeah all the roof is pretty good I'll say we've got a little bit of a leak but that's nothing major, I can, I can live with that. As you can see, I'm just emptying it now because we've had some rain here. There we go. And that's not me going to the toilet. Uh, I've not found out where it's coming from yet, um, but I will. I will find that. Look, coming out of here, it doesn't look behind me because it's an absolute mess. I've creosoted the chicken house. Uh, someone gave me some old creosote so that's all done now uh, got their perch up that's all and everything so that's all good that is all good so we are all ready to roll um, hopefully pick up the chickens this week just waiting for the nod off my friend who's got the um, transporter thing but yeah this one's all flat now which I still ain't done nothing with the path, it's just been too heavy. Um, I've started a pot on. Um, 
I've planted some onions. So, and some uh, shallots. Uh, spring onions are in there. Some more onions are there and there, and got loads there. I've also planted some broad bean and some cool rabi. I do like that cool rabi. Uh, I've taken out, there was a bench here, so I've taken that out and made this completely open. So that's be ready for me tomatoes. I'm put tomatoes this side and me lettuce is that side because the last time I was here I had tomatoes all along here. Uh, that's good. That's all good. Uh, yeah, still messing about with that. Bits and pieces. Okay. Emptied all as many pots as I can as I'm going. And in this greenhouse, it is completely bare now. So that's all good. I say, I've dug this one now, and I've put a path up that side with the trim edging so that's that one i've got a flat that one but the ground is just so heavy uh, the seating area we wanted i say it's just waterlogged so there's nothing we can do with it um chairs still haven't materialized but just to make you laugh someone actually has nicked me seed box so I've only got seeds that people have given me. Hence, because of what happened, you know, I lost a lot. You know, my finances are zero at the moment. So it's what people give me because, yeah, I ain't gonna go into a long story of that, but you know what I mean. So I've been given some of the uh, holly pipe. So I'm raising the roof on that kind gentleman gave it to me so I've cleared this one out totally uh, I think I found me asparagus I think I have so there's a few there is a few left I mean it's all of them but it's clear that's the main thing it's clear uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with that I am pleased with that it's obviously not done because obviously the weather but I've put what was over in amongst the tundrish over there was my fruit bushes which I have now put there so I've got my blueberry there uh, red currant and black currant which one they are I don't know so I've got them mixed up and I'll have to wait for them to bloom and my gooseberry bush there so I've just got this side to work out what I'm going to put in there put this one together now and edged it with the plastic so hopefully the wood will last a little bit longer so it's good soil under there but oh god there's some there is some weeds serious seriously depth weeds and I've hidden that so <laughs> someone gave me over from over there way over there someone gave me these so I had a few of them, uh, but they just added up. So I've hidden it. I have hidden it. So I'm well chuffed with that. So I just put my burners there. Um, still not done anything up this, this end. Uh, but the next door neighbor kindly roped off their plot. Um, yeah, uh, well, not reason for it, but she stopped me from going up my side of the path because that is a communal path but she's now come right up against my my plot there so that's the edge of my box there so oh well I say when the guy next door he comes up and he puts a big pile of muck there she ain't gonna get into hers but that ain't my problem uh, started to pull bits and pieces out of here uh, I might, I don't know whether to leave this as grass, thinking about it now, to leave this as all grass and just keep this side for, oh, orchardy. Um, 
I say, does, we're not getting the uh, wood chippings up here like we used to for some reason. The council seem to bypass us. But we're, we're getting on, on the fruit trees. Moving on, we're getting, we're getting buds. We're getting buds. So that's good, that's good. Um, the raspberries are well budding. You know, there's lots of buds on them. Um, I, the, the thing I had in there was that lovely blue flower. Um, I don't know, I don't want to disturb it because it was really nice. I, I'd like that. Okay? But coming round onto the netting bit, don't know whether to replace the door as a little bit higher. I say because I say that's at about five foot, and I'm six foot. So, once I'm in, I'm not going to bang my head like I used to on all of these because that was all at this level. Now I'm at I'm at sort of that level. But no, I'm pleased with that. I'm really pleased with that. You see how I've done it is at B and Q they had some black and white pipe. Uh, I got the 32 mil, but that was on an offer five lengths for f five lengths for nine pound. So I've just clipped them. As you can see, I've just clipped them to the wood, and I've slid the algafine inside. And then what I'll do is, once I get the netting on and it's all taut tight, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of screws, so, so where, so it holds this, because this is loose at the moment. So I can slide it up and down to suit the netting. Then I'll uh, just locate it and hopefully make it steady. But the berry, uh, current bushes, red currant and black currant, yeah, red currant and black currant, you know, they're budding well. Um, hopefully, I dug a big circle round. Um, it was a good two foot away from the actual stem of it. So hopefully I've got enough root to then it to claw its way back and settle in there. Um, other than that, the birdie feeder's doing well. I say, me little Robin, I've not seen him, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But it's, it's one of those things, it's one of those things, you know, you don't mean to do it, but just just have a little bit of thought guys and uh hopefully hopefully i'll start bringing things out next month so this is jay signing off anyway thank you everyone for all your nice comments about you know how much work i'm doing in here it, it is hard work and I, I do push myself sometimes and my wife goes ballistic at me um obviously you know she cares and i understand that but some you know it's like guys you you start into it and you, you feel like you've just got to get to that last little bit don't guys what what you don't do today you can do tomorrow take my advice i want to say i want to sit here and enjoy this with my son i don't want him to come up here on his own knowing this is what dad done so Anyway, hope everyone's good. Keep sending the comments. It, it drives me on. It really does. You know, more likes. I, I, you know, I've, I've, that's what's keeping me going here. Guys, so anyway, you all keep up the good work. And I look forward to seeing everyone's video. And listen, reading the comments you put about this. Anyway, this is Jay off. Speak to you soon. Bye.